Welcome, family, to Whatever is True. Today's spoken word is entitled, The Truth Is, God is not angry at his children. We are the apple or pupil of his eyes. Seek the truth and know God. When you read the following verse, what about God stands out to you? The Lord is a jealous God and avenging. The Lord avenges and he is full of wrath. The Lord takes vengeance on his adversaries and reserves wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will by no means clear the guilty. The Lord has his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Now, I hear in that verse that God loves justice and is slow to anger. So, hear it another way. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and loving kindness and truth go before your face. For the Lord is good. His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. His faithfulness and truth endure to all generations. Yes, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and abounding in mercy and loving kindness. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works, the entirety of things created. The Lord upholds all those of his own who are falling and raises up all those who are bowed down. You open your hand and you satisfy every living thing with favor. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and gracious and merciful in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him sincerely and in truth. He will fulfill the desires of those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Yes. It is because of the Lord's mercy and loving kindness that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great and abundant is your stability and faithfulness because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. So... God's sons and daughters, all those of his own, are never meant to experience his wrath. Jesus clearly shows his great love, but God shows and clearly proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ the Messiah, the anointed one, died for us. Jesus prays to God the Father, I have made your name known to them and revealed your character and your very self, and I will continue to make you known that the love which you have bestowed upon me may be in them, felt in their hearts, and that I myself may be in them. His wrath then is intended for those who would seek to discredit him and thereby disrupt and hinder his will and purpose to be known. For God's holy wrath and indignation are revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who in their wickedness repress and hinder the truth and make it inoperative. Let our lives then lovingly express truth in all things, speaking truly, dealing truly, living truly, 
enfolded in love, let us grow up in every way and in all things into him who is the head, even Christ the Messiah, the Anointed One. For he who does not love has not become acquainted with God, does not and never did know him. For God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. For love springs from God and he who loves his fellow men is begotten or born of God and is coming progressively to know and understand God, to perceive and recognize and get a better and clearer knowledge of him. Yes, be merciful, sympathetic, tender, responsive, and compassionate, even as your father is all of these. Let all bitterness and indignation and wrath and resentment and quarreling and slander be banished from you with all malice and become useful and helpful and kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. But also take heed, make no friendships with man given to anger, and with a wrathful man do not associate, lest you learn his ways and get yourself into a snare. For he who is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who is hasty of spirit exposes and exalts his folly. And he who is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He who rules his own spirit than he who takes a city. For good sense makes a man restrain his anger, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression or an offense. So again, if possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. For a stone is heavy and sand weighty, but a fool's unreasoning wrath is heavier and more intolerable than both of them. He who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from troubles. For the wisdom from above is first of all pure. Then it is peace-loving, courteous, is willing to yield to reason, full of compassion and good fruits. It is wholehearted and straightforward, impartial and unfeigned, free from doubts, wavering and insincerity. And the harvest of righteousness, of conformity to God's will and thought and deed, is the fruit of the seed sown in peace by those who work for and make peace in themselves and in others, that peace which means concord, agreement, and harmony between individuals with undisturbedness in a peaceful mind free from fears and agitating passions and moral conflicts. And the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the work which his presence within accomplishes, is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and appetites and desires. If we live by the Holy Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. If by the Holy Spirit we have our life in God, let us go forward, walking in line, our conduct controlled by the Spirit. As we walk, remember, God will not forget justice. Till then, be still and rest in the Lord. Wait for him 
and patiently lean yourself upon him. Fret not yourself because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who brings wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil doing. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those who wait and hope and look for the Lord in the end shall inherit the earth. But the meek in the end shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. For the Lord delights in justice and forsakes not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the offspring of the wicked in time shall be cut off. For he who touches you, you, <laughs> He who touches you touches the apple or pupil of his eye. Yes, he who deals wisely and heeds God's word and counsel shall find good, and whoever leans on, trusts in, and is confident in the Lord, happy, blessed, and fortunate is he. The wise in heart are called prudent, understanding, and knowing, and winsome speech increases learning in both the speaker and listener. Understanding is a wellspring of life to those who have it, but to give instruction to fools is folly. The mind of the wise instructs his mouth and adds learning and persuasiveness to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the mind and healing to the body. That's all for this evening. Y'all have a blessed night. Good night.